Bloxburg needs to change. Bloxburg's player count has been decreasing for years. Even after the game went free, the player count is already dropping fast. Players are more disappointed than ever at the Bloxburg updates. Some are even quitting entirely. So today I'm explaining why Bloxburg is going downhill and how Bloxburg needs to change because it might die if things keep going this way. Let's go back to when this started in December of 2022. This was when Bloxburg was sold to Coffee State Studios for $100 million. Coeptus made a Twitter post explaining that this was so the developers could have more assistance with the game. Coeptus is still working on Bloxburg, but it's unknown how much control he has. Bloxburg had infrequent and smaller updates before it was sold. After Coffee Stain took over, Bloxburg had many improvements and many players were happy. There were amazing updates like the color wheel, the Bloxburger update, and the athletic skill. Despite these updates though, Bloxburg was struggling to get as many players as 2020 and 2021. As you can see, Bloxburg regularly got over 100,000 concurrent players a day in these years. Now, in 2023, it was around 50 to 70k. I don't think this was the developer's fault since the pandemic was winding down and people were busier. Also, many Bloxburg players from 2020 were leaving, likely because they lost interest as they got older. Obviously, this wasn't good for Bloxburg since they needed to make the $100 million back and then profit and fewer players mean less money. While the updates were great at first, they did not last forever. In April 2024, Bloxburg made all the jobs pay the same. To do this, the developers made the high paying jobs pay significantly less and the low paying jobs make more to meet in the middle. I calculated the pay difference and noticed a 22% decrease in my earnings, which is a major change. This update was terrible and made players understandably upset. Some people even had protests in the game, which was really funny. There was even an anti-communism Bloxburg sign as a UGC item. More work isn't what anyone wants to do in a video game. Also, people worked hard to get to level 50 at jobs, which was made completely irrelevant by this update. People felt like their hard work was ignored and didn't matter. Moreover, this update also added the pre-built house catalog with nice but expensive houses. So who's even going to be able to buy those houses with the lower pay? Additionally, Bloxburg added mandatory fainting and towing fees. While these fees are easy to avoid, they did not help please the community. People were furious about less job pay and more bills. Furthermore, Marvelous Mood, a game pass that took away negative mood effects, was made worthless since you still fainted with the game pass anyway. It just took a little longer to faint. Bloxburg was becoming more realistic in a negative way. Nobody wants to play a video game and worry about financial issues and bills like in real life. Bloxburg responded to this outrage by ignoring the community. Almost everyone disliked this update, but the developers stubbornly refused to change it. They made a response statement trying to justify this bad update instead of considering why the community dislikes it. They said there is a slight decrease in job pay, but a 22% decrease is more than a small difference. Their reasoning for lowering job pay was that the economy was unbalanced and would break if all the jobs paid the same as pizza delivery and Bloxburger used to. People did not buy this, and this makes no sense anyway because Bloxburg is a video game, not real life. There was nothing wrong with the job pay before at high levels. It still took a lot of time to become rich. Like I have 25 million right now and I had to work 48 real hours and then 100 real hours to get this far. And that is at the highest work level. There was no problem with working how it was before. It wasn't overpowered at all or unfair. They said this update made low level players make more, which is true but this can be accomplished without making high-level players make less. This caused people to quit Bloxburg. People didn't feel incentivized to stay in a game where the developers ignored them and made earning money harder. The player count spiked for a bit when people protested, but fell back to how it was shortly after when they realized the developers didn't care. The player count was around 20 to 50k, even lower than in 2023. This was when Bloxburg started to go downhill. Even though the player count was about the same as before the update, the developers set up the game for failure. Games are much more likely to die when the players are unhappy with the updates and feel ignored by the developers. This already happened to Royal High. In 2024, there was a similar outrage in the Royal High community. Many players quit the game and criticized its problems. The items were very overpriced and it took a lot of time to get money for them, similar to how Bloxburg made working harder. They also nerfed apple bobbing drastically due to exploiters. Apple bobbing was another way to earn money. 
This is similar to Blocksburg adding fainting fees, since they claimed they were partially there to stop exploiters at jobs. Everyone gets punished for what just a few exploiters do. The developers ignored their community's complaints and didn't change anything, which is scarily similar to Blocksburg. Rail High has many other problems that Blocksburg doesn't, but the idea is the same. Since the developers kept ignoring their community, the player count dropped drastically. It went from 30 to 40k in 2022 to barely over 10k now. This could happen to Blocksburg if they continue to ignore their community like Royal High did. Shortly after this update, Blocksburg became free in June 2024. This caused a huge spike in players, but the player count is already much lower a month later. Many players were disappointed in this update, even those who wanted the game to be free. This is because it felt rushed. It felt like the developers desperately needed more players and thus made the game free too soon. This update felt driven by money and not the game's best interests. In Blocksburg's announcement video, they said that the recent updates were preparing for the game to be free, such as the athletic skill and the Blocksburger job. While they didn't directly say updates for skills and jobs would be complete when Blocksburg is free, it heavily implied that they would, but right now, the skill and job systems are still incomplete. Updating a game is hard work, but still, there is no reason Blocksburg couldn't have taken the time to complete this before making the game free. They never said a specific date, so it's not like they had a deadline or anything. They also announced that they are planning a map revamp. Again, they didn't directly say this would occur when Blocksburg is free, but it was heavily implied that it would, and it didn't happen. The community felt like they were being told false promises, increasing their dissatisfaction even more. The game going free too early contributed to the player count dropping so fast. New players joined, and saw the promised updates weren't there, and left. Many other games are finished, so there's no reason for them to stick around. There are different reasons new players left, such as entitled paid access players, starting at low levels on everything, and Bloxburg just isn't interesting to some people. However, I think the game going free could have been more successful if the developers hadn't rushed it. Overall, it feels like these recent updates are only for money. Blocksburg being free allows them to get premium payouts, which is a major revenue source. The job pay decrease encourages players to spend more time working, which means more premium payouts, or to buy money. This is a developer's job, and they need to make $100 million back and profit off of the game, but the way they're going about it is only hurting the game and its success. It feels like the developers are greedy and only care about their profit since they refuse to change bad updates, and now the game is suffering because of it. If Blocksburg had taken its time before going free, and considered its community's desires instead of ignoring feedback, I think it could have been way more successful. I love Bloxburg, and it has so much potential to be a fun game and to gain more players, but the developer's actions are holding it back and setting it up for failure. There are so many updates Bloxburg could have that I think would increase the player count while not negatively affecting the game. Some examples are engaging jobs like Bloxburger, reverted pay, building game passes like Transform Plus, more map buildings, more black box items, and larger servers with more plots to make role playing easier. However, this video all comes down to one thing. Bloxburg needs to stop ignoring its players. Anyway, that's going to be all for this video. Feel free to comment your thoughts down below. This is all my opinion, so if you disagree, let me know why. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.